In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my themed toddler busy bins. A lot of you have been requesting to see my toddler busy bins over on Instagram. So I have finally made this video for you guys. So I hope that this can inspire you. So if you want to see my themed toddler busy bins, just keep on watching. My name is Regina, Gina for short, and welcome to Gina B Homeschool. I am a homeschool mom of three kids. I have a seven-year-old, a two-year-old, and a seven-month-old. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my themed toddler busy bins. Now, this has been a really highly requested video on my Instagram. A lot of parents on Instagram have mentioned that they do wanna see what's in my toddler busy bins. My toddler busy bins are a little bit different from your regular toddler busy bins because they are themed toddler busy bins. Each busy bin has a theme to it. So that's what makes it a little bit different from you know your regular toddler busy bins. Now, if you are new to toddler busy bins, I can explain to you what a toddler busy bin is. So let's go over what a toddler busy bin is. A toddler busy bin is a bin, obviously, and it's used for when you need your toddler busy. I use my toddler busy bin when I need my toddler busy during homeschool. I homeschool my seven year old, he's in the first grade. When I am doing one on one work with him, these toddler busy bins can keep Michael busy for about an hour. I need about an hour for me to do homeschool with Nicholas. I definitely recommend these toddler busy bins if you need your toddler entertained for a good period of time. Maybe you don't homeschool. You need them entertained while you clean up the kitchen, bathroom, or something that you need to do around the house. Because they are themed, I feel like toddlers really love having themed type toddler busy bins and that'll keep them even more busy. So I definitely recommend you try these out and during this video, I'll also give you tips and tricks to create the ultimate toddler busy bin to keep your toddler entertained for hours. So if you're interested, I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you each and every one of them. So maybe you can create themes that will entertain your toddler as well. So let's get this started. Okay, these are my toddler busy bins, okay? And what you'll notice is, is that they are a good size. I'll leave the measurements up right over here somewhere just to let you know the measurements of this red lid toddler busy bin and then I will leave the measurement of this one right over here so there is a difference between both of them and I do recommend this larger one squared one just because it fits the different activities that I have there a bit better but just for concept wise I did include two different bins so you can kind of see how it looks like and for you to decide if you know you want a smaller one you want a bigger one just depending on the activities that you have inside your toddler busy bins so one of the things that i have done with each of my toddler busy bins is that i did label these toddler busy bins and the reason for that is because sometimes michael will let me know that he wants the bug one he wants the marine biology one he will let me know which one he wants which is totally fine I actually did not a mistake but I was following other you know videos that I have seen in the past where I labeled it like this I labeled it Monday busy bin Wednesday busy bin and guess what I don't know what's in the Monday obviously I can see but when it's kind of stored I store it up there on my desk area I sometimes can't like see what's inside of it and I'll forget and I would have to open it up and find out what was inside my toddler busy bin. So what I did is, is I did label it with my label machine. So if you don't have a label machine, you can get it off Amazon. And I definitely recommend a label machine because I use it for everything. And I just labeled it the theme of the toddler busy bin. So this is the bugs one, okay? There's marine biology, bird busy bin, there's farm animals, and then I have fruit and veggie busy bin. Also wanted to note that I got this bin from the dollar store. It was $4 and then this one here I got from Walmart and it was $3 Canadian, okay? Now, quality wise, I would say this one is better quality than the dollar store one, but it works out fine. I just feel like the lid snaps on a little bit better on this one. Tip number one that I have for you is buy the same bin for each of your toddler busy bin. It just makes it easier to stack it up wherever you wanna store it. Let's get inside these busy bins. 
so I can show you what's inside of them. Okay, let's get into our first busy bin, which is our bird busy bin. So this bird busy bin, I always, so let's start with the first item that we have in here. I always include some type of sensory type of play. And for this one, I have, I made a little nest for birds. So because it has to do with birds, I make a little nest for the birds. I just got this little um, bin, a smaller bin that I can fit inside the bigger bin. And I got these paper frills that you usually get in packaging. And then I have these birds that I got from the dollar store as well. Put some feathers inside here, popsicle sticks, and just made a little, look, look at this, look at this, Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> and then I just got, <laughs> she's taking it all. Now note that this will get a little bit messy sometimes, but it's really nice for sensory play. Obviously you don't want a baby playing with it. Obviously I'm keeping an eye out. Uh, but Michael does not put this in his mouth. There's feathers in here and everything that I got inside over here, including the bin, I got from the dollar store. So you can definitely make a sensory bin type of item. See, I have a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of, this one goes over here. I have a, a bunch of popsicle sticks so Michael can just get creative with how he wants to play with this. I have a little basket so he can make his own little nest. And then he can put the feathers that he wants. He can work on color recognition. He can play with the birds. He can do whatever he wants. But the next thing that I have in this toddler busy bin is this bird activity here. This bird activity, basically you grab, there's a little um, magnetic catcher. That's actually a woodpecker. And he grabs the little worms. And then you can feed it, feed the little birdie. So he can go and he can work on color recognition, but it's also his uh, his coordination as well and it's a lot of fun for him. It's a lot of fun. Like I would definitely recommend this one. This one's fun. Okay, another activity that I have in here is this pom-pom activity where Michael can actually work. We just pretend this is kind of like bird food. I have these little uh, trays for paint and I put some little stickers, color stickers in here. So he can put the yellow ones in here. He can color coordinate. And I have a little, uh, these little pom-poms. And we could just pretend they're bird food or he can play with the birdies. He can do whatever he wants with it. But it's a nice little activity that he can do with these pom-poms. So I did add them to these toddler busy bins. Also added this little um, catcher over here. And he can catch the little pom-poms with the little scissor catcher thingy. I don't know what it's called, but it's a lot of fun. So. He can do whatever he wants with it, or even if he wants to play with the sensory items with this, he can definitely, so he can definitely use this to grab the pom-poms. Another thing that I added in here is stickers. The next tip that I have is always put puffy stickers for a toddler. And the reason why is you do not want a pissed off toddler while you want him busy. Because if he does not know how to peel the stickers out, he's going to get upset and then he's not gonna wanna play with anything. I just added a construction paper and I folded it in half. And Lily just got a hold of this right now and she cut, she murdered the paper. But, <laughs> so then he could just stick it on here and it's very easy for him to do because they're puffy stickers. I have these little ones here and then I have this right here that we just pretend it's kind of little food for the birdies. I don't have any bird stickers. I have to stock up on them, but then he can just stick, he can stick that to the paper and then he can have a lot of fun stickers are so much fun, but make sure you use puffy stickers. It makes all the difference. I sometimes have a hard time peeling off stickers. Now imagine an angry toddler. You're just gonna get you know, him upset. You won't be able to get anything done because you're gonna get a pissed off toddler. So I definitely recommend puffy stickers. Another thing that I have here is binoculars. He can grab these birdies and he can pretend to go, you know, bird watching or he can go to the window and pretend, you know, try to find some birds. There's so much stuff that he can do with this. So I added some binoculars inside these toddler busy bins. The next thing I added are books. Books are an awesome thing to add inside a toddler busy bin. And these we're keeping with the theme of birds and then he can just select which one he wants. He can actually select the bird and hear the sound of the bird. Next tip that I have is always put board books in there because a toddler with a normal book, you know, like a normal paperback book, they can do some damage. <laughs> so get a board book. And especially I would actually recommend if 
go even a further step and get something with sound, with touch and feel books, because that will keep them more entertained. Even pop up, not pop up, I wouldn't recommend pop up books, at least for my toddler. You know your toddler best, but my toddler loves ripping up the pop up books. But lift the flap books, those are good because that keeps them entertained as well. So those types of books is what you will see inside my toddler busy bin. And this one, he can just select, for example, this bird right here. He can hear the sound of the bird. So a lot of fun with this book right over here. You want the book, baby? Okay, there you go. I added these two little reader books. Nicholas will sometimes come and he will actually read these little readers for Michael. If Nicholas has a little break, he'll come and he'll read the little readers for Michael. So, so that is what I have inside my bird themed toddler busy bin. Now let's go to the next one. So this is my bug busy bin. So like I said before, I always have some type of sensory type of bin small little mini sensory bin so for this one for our bug one i have this rock sensory bin got these rocks from the dollar store these colored rocks and i mixed red ones and blue ones and i put it inside a small little bin that i got from the dollar store and i've added these bugs there's a bunch of different bugs in here i've added them to the sensory bin and uh, Michael can play with them, you know, creative play. He can sort the bugs by the different, like if, see if it's an ant, he can sort it with an ant. He can sort the dragonflies, whatever types of bugs are in here. It's all full of bugs. And he can do whatever he wants with the sensory bin. He can sort, he can uh, sort the rocks by color. So he can just do whatever he wants with this. I got this from a, I got these little accessories here on the corner uh, from a bug kit and I just added this so he can put the little bugs in here. He has a little magnifying glass as well that he can play with, a little net to catch the bugs. And then I have this uh, flashlight as well so he can play with it as well. And then he can just, you know, use his imagination he can play with it however he wants to. So that's the first item that's in my bug sensory bin. So another tip that I have if you are, you know, doing sensory bins is to do themes that your child will love. This is very important because when I first did this bug sensory bin, my son Michael did not like bugs. And I didn't know this. I thought this was going to be something fun because I was like, you know what? All kids like bugs. But he wasn't into bugs and he didn't want to play with it. He told me, mommy, that's gross. And he did not touch the sensory bin. So you have to really, you know, think about what your child would like. Don't make something because you think it's going to be cool because then your child won't play with it. It's, it's very important um, to make themes that your child will love. So that's another tip that I have. For the next activity that I have here is I have this puzzle from Melissa and Doug and it comes with this magnetic little net and the child can just grab whatever uh, bug they get and then they can, you know, just like a normal puzzle, but it's magnetic. It just adds another element of fun. So this is a lot of fun for Michael to play with. I also have a little sticker book here and there are bug stickers and of course there are puffy stickers as well so he can peel and stick and this will keep him entertained. I have a coloring book and I just photocopied two little worksheets here. Another tip is just to grab, you know, a coloring book that you have and then I have these first step markers from Crayola and I got the blue and a brown marker. I, I won't add too many colors because I feel like my son will just start opening them up and he'll get kind of overwhelmed. So I just added these two markers here and it's nice because brown and blue, so we'll, buh, 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 we'll focus on the B and I just keep it in a little folder here for him. And then I also have board books. I have two of them. I have this bug alphabet one and it's a board book and he can go through them. He really likes just seeing all the different bugs in here. And then I have a classic, the very hungry caterpillar. He loves this book. He really loves this bug one now, but like I said, make sure to, um, use your discretion when picking a theme, because if your child doesn't like it, it defeats the purpose of the busy bin. Okay, so this is my third toddler busy bin and the theme is farm animals. And another tip that I wanna give you guys is that less is more. 
and I'll give you an example because kids get very overly stimulated and they do not know what to play with when there's too much in a busy bin and although this might look like a lot if you think of it okay so the books is one activity right so i have books here in this in this uh farm animals uh busy bin i have a lot of animal books so i have this one that has um bingo was his name and then you put your little finger in here and you can just like it's like a little puppet so almost like a touch and feel kind of book it's still a board book god uh made animals i have this book over here another it's a board book spots tractor so it's such a cute little book and michael loves this one i have noisy animals and it's a touch and feel book but also a sound book so it's really nice and it's not this one's not only farm animals i have one that's a farm animal one but it's not working the sounds on it so i just got this one so it's a board book but it's also a touch and feel one and this amazing animals one so even before nicholas was born i've had it for seven years now and michael loves this one so he can just you know find where's the doggy and we can talk about different sounds that animals make and although it's not only it's not a farm animal one but it's okay <laughs> and you'll notice the theme with my toddler busy bins like you saw that um my toddler busy bins there is books in the toddler busy bins there's some type of sensory play there's some type of creative play there's al always coloring and always stickers so um in this bag i have a bunch of farm animals and i got this from walmart but I think that you can find some better quality ones on Amazon. So just depends on how much you wanna you know, waste on your toddler busy bins. So this brand here, Terra, they have the best type of like realistic um, animals. The My farm animals are not from this brand, but my bugs are. And I have reptiles in here. I haven't, I don't have a reptile busy bin, but my kids love this and they have really good quality ones and it comes like filled up with a dot uh, this one's a reptile one so I'd, I'd recommend this brand over here if you're looking for um these types of animals or bugs or anything like that the, the, the bug one i got from tara so for coloring on my animals busy bin i have this melissa and doug water reveal pad and it comes with a little pen and you just add water and then the child can uh, color and this is just a different way for michael to you know work on his coloring skills but this water pen so this is from melissa and doug i have a couple of these but this is an animal one so i've thrown it in here instead of actually having coloring like uh, crayons or anything like that i've added this and for his sensory kind of play i've added play-doh i just added a couple of different colors here so i have uh this these two colors and then i have a couple of animal molds i have some scissors because michael loves cutting um uh play-doh so i have that and then i have just a couple of different other tools that he can use with the play-doh then i have stickers for him that he can play with and they're all animal ones again <laughs> it's called farm animals but this is what i had so we're going with it and then he can um stick it on this little this little notebook that i have so that's for his sticker and then we have these little farm barns i've shown this on my instagram before and michael loves these and what's nice is is that he can open up the barn and inside the barn there will be an animal in it and it's a cow it's almost like a little surprise he can work on his fine motor skills he can work on his numbers his counting because they have the little dots here the color recognition um you know recognizing different animals and their sounds there's so many so much creative play that can happen here so we have how many activities here on this bin we have quite a bit let's see how much we have here we have the these little barns that's one thing that he can do one activity two activities three activities four the coloring five and then six so i would recommend a maximum of six four to six activities inside your toddler busy bin no more than that because I've already stuffed these toddler busy bins like with 10 activities and then Michael was just like all over the place. So I'd recommend maximum six activities, minimum maybe three or four, less is more. So our next toddler themed busy bin is marine biology. So for our sensory mini bin, we have here is this bin with marbles these colored marbles over here 
with a ton of different uh, sea creatures that Michael can play with. I have this little strainer that is just from, you can get it from the dollar store. I probably got it from, you know, just lying around the house, things from around the house. I have this little uh, pincher that he can just grab the um, animals and he can work on his fine motor skills. He can count the marbles. And I got this color of marbles just so it can represent maybe like the sea. And obviously you use your discretion based on, you know, your child better. Uh, than I do. I know that Michael will not put this in his mouth and obviously I'm supervising him when he is playing with this in a way but I know that he does not put this in his mouth. He is past that stage of putting things in his mouth but if your child is younger you might just want to you know do something that you know that's not dangerous for them. So use your discretion obviously. But my next tip is make sure that everything fits inside this bin so it's nice and closed you have a lid to it and you can put it away. Only take this out when you need your toddler completely busy. That's very important here. It will defeat the purpose of a toddler busy bin if you just leave it out whenever the child wants to play with it. It's whenever you need your toddler completely busy because you have something to do. Whatever that might be, make sure to only take this out. Keep it away from the toddler. When you need them to play with it, that's when you take it out. So it's something that almost like a surprise, like almost something that they can look forward to. The next activity for marine biology is a puzzle. You'll notice a theme. A lot of these toddler busy bins have obviously a theme. The toddler busy bins, whatever the toddlers have to play with, it's pretty similar in a way. The theme is different. So it kind of gets that element of surprise, but they kind of already know how to play with it. It just makes it easier for them to be busy and more independent. So same thing here. They're just fishing for the, um, the uh, sea creatures. And this is from Melissa and Doug again. And I got this in a pack of two and they come with a little rod. So it's like a net, sorry, it was like a net. And this one is like a, like a uh, fishing pole. So that's kind of really cute. Michael loves playing with that. And then again, over here, I have some coloring pages of sea creatures. And I have two sheets that I put in here inside a folder. And I also have some crayons. And this one is uh, a fish crayon. So just to go with the theme. And I got this from the dollar store as well. So, and these are more jumbo kind of style crayons. So it's easier for the toddler to grip it because obviously he's still working on holding a pencil or a crayon. So I also have stickers here with a little notebook so Michael can play with and with sea creatures, puffy stickers of course. <laughs> and then I have two books here. One of them is called A Tartaruga and this is in Portuguese and it's almost like it's these are kind of these are books that can go in water. I actually got this from our family in Brazil a long time ago when Nicholas was like one. And I've had it ever since and I will just read it to Michael, but he also can go through the pages. It's, you know, pretty durable, so it's nice. And it's kind of like, it's like kind of squishy as well. It's almost like sensory wise, so he really likes that. And then Do Sharks Bark. This is another board book, and it's a Lift the Flap. Michael loves Lift the Flap books. I got this online from the book outlet at a discounted price. So there you go. There you have it. And that is our marine biology. And there is less activities in this one. One, two, three, four, five. So five activities for him to do. And this will keep him entertained for about an hour or over an hour. So now let's go over this, our last and final busy bin, a fruit and veggie busy bin. So you'll notice that I have five busy bins, one through Monday to Friday. So I have five different busy bins because we school from Monday to Friday. So I'll have five different ones for Michael to choose from. Can he use the same busy bin multiple times a week? Yes, but if he gets bored with one of them and he says, mommy, today I want the bird one, I'll give him the bird one, you know? So for this one, this is the veggie, fruits and veggie busy bin. So it's almost like a food type of busy bin because Michael loves talking about food. He loves learning about the different colors of food. So this is something that really interests him. I have this like Montessori type of uh, wooden toy and it's, it's carrots and he just has to find where the carrot fits. So the carrot won't fit here, it'll fit over here. And it's just kind of, it's nice. He likes playing with this little toy. Maybe it's geared a little bit towards kids that even are 18 months, they can play with it. But 
I got this from Amazon, very overpriced, but it's fun. <laughs> so now for books, I have, so this is not really, I don't have a lot of food books, I, I noticed. I have this one that I got from the dollar store. It's called A Day at the Market, and it's a board book. So I put that one in there. So he really likes this one because Michael's very into identifying colors right now and different fruits and veggies. So I really like that. I have this Let's Say Our Colors book and it's a sound book. And Michael loves Red, green, yellow, blue. grabbing this board book and just like seeing the red colors. He likes naming all of the red um, objects in here. In each of them, they actually do have some fruits and veggies. So I I just put it in here because he enjoys it and it does show some some fruits and vegetables here so we can talk about oh the strawberry is red can you um and i, I see him always talking to himself strawberry and he'll say red. red and then he can press the button so so on and so forth so you can see like it's a really cute book now i don't i don't know where i got this but i'm i'll you could take a screenshot of this if you want to and see but this i really i really like this book I have in a in a bag. I have this Melissa and Doug, um, like cutting the the veggies and fruits. It's like fruits and veggies. So you'll have like you'll have the knife, and they have to cut it. And this is really good to work on their fine motor skills. And I like how realistic it looks inside. It's really really cute. And there is some like imitation ones that you can get on Amazon. And I have bought those ones before, but they're not as good. The Velcro ends up um i don't know it ends up not being able to stick anymore and then like i don't recommend it this is like wooden it's like a good quality so i just put it inside a bag and i added it here to our busy bin so i also have stickers again so some fruits and veggies for him to stick puffy stickers and then i got this little foam cardboard thing and it's kind of like soft and so if you don't have a notebook my tip is just my other tip is just to get like um construction paper or any of these foam type of construction papers and have your child stick it on this. You don't need a notebook. You can just use this. Get some construction paper and then your child can stick on the stickers. And then I have magnets. Uh, Michael loves magnets and we have these uh, magnets that he got for his birthday and I just I, I put a bunch of like fruits and veggies and different uh, food food magnets in here and then he can stick it on his um on his magnetic board and then the last thing i have here is i have dot markers guys my kids love dot markers so michael is really into um into playing with these dot markers because they're easy all he has to do is dot and it's just so much fun so if you haven't, if you don't have dot, dot markers, I definitely recommend you getting this for your toddler because this keeps him entertained for a good amount of time. So I got B for banana here and A for apple. And this, these dot markers actually came with a little book with it that came with it. And then I just photocopy the sheets. So this is the brand. It's called Hoo Hoo and it comes with this little activity book for dot marker, so I just photocopy it, and then it came inside, um, it didn't come with this little bag, this bag is from the dollar store, and I just store all my dot markers in here, but it did come with all these dot marker colors, and I've had them for like a year now, and they're going strong, so <laughs> definitely recommend dot markers, and one of the other things that I recommend is put different types of coloring activities for your child. Obviously, you want things that are not are easy for them to do, like dot markers is very easy, crayons are easy get the toddler markers those are super easy so easy is key key here obviously you want your child to learn but it's more like learning through play and easy things that he can do right now so he can be or he or she can be entertained so that's the fruit and veggie busy bin and there you have it guys that's where i store my toddler busy bins and you'll see they're nicely tucked away here in the corner away from Michael so he cannot access it. I have to give it to him. And you can see that when you have the same style of busy bin, it's a little bit easier to store them um, just so they can go on top of each other nicely. I do have a lot of sensory 
bin ideas like with beans, with water, with rice, oh man, with sand. I have so many different ideas that I've already done with my kids and I've already have it set up. So if that's something that you want to um, need a film, I definitely can give you some ideas for, for sensory bin ideas for toddlers. Okay friends, that was my toddler busy bins that I have for my two-year-old. If you like these types of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If this helped you in any way for you to to get inspired to do some themed toddler busy bins. Make sure to tag me on Instagram if you end up recreating them. I'll leave my Instagram here. It's Gina B Homeschool and I'll link it down below as well. Make sure to follow me there too. Let's be friends there and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. I will be making five more toddler themed busy bins. So I will be uploading that in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.